Hello everyone, this is Old Soldier. If you like content about emergency preparedness, gear reviews, and outdoor activities such as hunting, camping, hiking, and shooting, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like button. Today we are going to talk about my favorite camp stove and a few other ways to get a warm meal when out in the wild. Let's go ahead and get started. The first stoves I'm going to talk about are really not stoves at all. They're Army Issue heat tabs. Single use and nothing is cheaper than Issue. They will take a canteen cup uh, portion full of water, enough to make a cup of hot coffee, making it boiling hot in just a few minutes. There are Esbit style stoves. I used to have one years ago, but I have no idea where it is. So to use this, I just simply make a stove by digging a little trench in the ground, placing the heat tab inside, and starting on fire. Yes, that is a Army Issue canteen and canteen cup for the viewing audience. Light her up. And it produces a white hot flame. I'm just going to put my canteen cup over it. And I'm just going to type it, or I'm going to time it with my watch. Heat tabs are also outstanding fire starters. At about six minutes, you can see that the water is starting to steam. Next stove is the alcohol beer can or tuna can or hobo stove. Simply fill it up full of alcohol after you've made it. You can buy these commercially. As you can see, this is made out of a couple beer cans. Simple and easy to use, low cost. Okay, I've lit it, uh, put the canteen cup over it. Uh, you need some sort of a device to keep whatever you're heating over the stove uh, in the wood. Sometimes I'll just dig another trench or use rocks. As we're in the uh, Old Soldier Studio, a.k.a. my basement, I'm just using a couple weights for my weight set. Um, as we're indoors, you don't have the same problem with odor or toxic fumes produced uh, with the alcohol stove as you do with a uh, heat tap. Uh, I've started, it's been heating for about a minute. Let's see how long it takes. You can buy these things, you can make these things. This one I've had for a while, and it is made out of two Foster's cans. And cheap to make, and last time I checked, alcohol was less than $2 uh, for a container. And denatured alcohol is easy. It's easy to find. Uh, my watch says it's not even been three minutes. And you can see the water start, starting to steam. And you can see it's starting to boil and it's steaming pretty good. And my watch tells me at about six minutes. So uh, alcohol stove. Uh, pros, cheap and simple. Uh, cons, look you have to take the uh, liquid in the field or wherever you're taking it. You have to be careful transporting the alcohol, the combustible material and have a good container uh, that it's stored in, otherwise if it leaks out, uh, you're going to have a mess. It probably took me a grand total of uh, 15 minutes to make this stove. So two beer cans and a less than $2 bottle of uh, denatured alcohol, good to go. If some of you have watched this channel before, you know I'm a big fan of isobutane isobutane propane or isopro stoves which is simply a canister of fuel and a stove which screws directly onto the canister and basically light the flame and it starts up. Uh, this is the first one I ever bought. When I bought this, this was such a uh, state of the art pardon me. When I first bought this this was such state-of-the-art magic in the mid-1980s, uh, people were in fact of it. It was quick, it was easy to use, and uh, let me tell you, when you're out in the field freezing your butt off, you'll uh, make friends quickly if you give them a half-canteen cup full of water. Uh, 
this today is kind of passe, but this thing is close to 40 years old, still works fine. Almost 40 years old, it still works just fine. Let's see how long it takes to boil a cup of water. This was the stove that I used primarily when I was in the military. I carried this in my ruck for 12 years. Uh, the, if used sparingly and judiciously, uh, a canister of the uh, fuel, the Isopro, will last a surprisingly long time. Uh, like I said, this technology is passe today, but at the time, uh, the troops, when I first got it, troops my platoon, uh, were like, hey, I brought the jet engine because that's what it was. It could uh, boil a cup of water pretty fast. And we're under three minutes in and it is already starting to boil. Uh, modern technology, uh, you I don't have one. I don't see one. I have many tech, uh, friends who do. But uh, the jet boil, uh, basically the same technology, but they've tweaked it a little bit. can uh, boil a cup of water in about a minute, a little bit over. I don't have one. I have several colleagues I respect a lot who do. If I was a young exotic and could get it issued or it went out to buy one, that would probably be my choice. But at this stage of my life, the things that I have, uh, they work just fine for me. This is the Primus stove that I keep in my cook set. If you've seen the episode about my cook set, it is on there. Also an ISO Pro uh, fuel. Very simple. The canister makes the base. Works great. Use it extensively works great. On a very similar vein is the this is the MSR pocket rocket. Also screws directly into the fuel cartridge and it works great. I think when I bought this one a few years back, $40, $45. The one from Primus was about $30. I keep this in my go bag compact. Essentially works the same and works great. Uh, I've used them both extensively or actually all three of the stoves extensively. One word I will say about the fuel cartridges uh, regulations vary from state to state on how to dispose of them, and I believe in every state where you can dispose of them, uh, you need to punch a hole into it. So please follow the uh, manufacturer's uh, instructions on how to dispose of these cartridges. Bonus information. If you don't have a stove and want a hot or at least a warm meal, there are some options for you. Uh, if you have something, food in a uh, foil pouch, such as MREs or even a uh, freeze-dried meal that has had water, been reconstituted in water. There's a couple things that you can do. Uh, if you're hiking or on a rucksack march or moving with a rucksack and your body's producing a lot of heat, you can put the food container next to your body and your body heat will make it warm if not hot. And let me tell you, especially with MREs, uh, having them even warm so there's... Uh, so everything in there is uncongealed is a big morale factor. Another technique is if you have uh, access to a vehicle, the vehicle's running, or maybe you're done running, uh, you can put the uh, foil pouches on the engine manifold and heat them that way. One funny story, after I separated from the military, I was doing other employment, uh, some sort of security work. We are on a checkpoint in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I advised some of my colleagues who had been in the military about... Uh, Use putting foil on the engine block. Uh, they did so, and then uh, they, we had orders to move. We moved to a different place, and they forgot to uh, move the MRE, and it uh, burst the pouch, and then uh, got loose on the engine manifold. There was no harm done, but uh, it got in the engine block and smoked it all up. Uh, I won't say their names, or his name, but uh, if you're watching this, you know who you are. The value of a hot meal or a hot cup of coffee or a hot cup of tea or some hot cocoa cannot be overstated. Uh, some of you might be thinking, well, I'll just build a fire. Well, let me tell you, military service frequently, you won't be able to uh, build a fire, but you will be able to use a small stove. Also, if you're a hiker, hunter, uh, backpacker, camper, frequently there's fire bans and you're not going to be able to uh, start a fire, but you will be able to use a stove. What don't you see here besides a jet boil? Uh, white gas stove. Look, I've never used them. I have several colleagues in the military and also uh, who are avid outdoorsmen in civilian life, and they swear by them and use them extensively. Hey, if that suits more of your needs, I would check those out, but I'm not the guy to ask about it. 
Anyway, that's all for this time. This is Old Soldier, out.